YTBC, what's the deal? Now, shout out to a subscriber. Copen09 brought this to my attention, and he was saying that the Lucas Brown and Ruzan Chagayev is rumored to be off right now. So I went to I went looking around, and I went to the, try to go to these Twitter accounts. So I went to Lucas Brown. He says, uh, woke up this morning with reports that Chagayev has pulled out of our fight. I'm waiting for confirmation on this. We'll let you guys know. And then funny that one of his followers sent the reply saying, uh, why don't you fight David Hay? And then he responded to that immediately and said, uh, David Hay, why? Um, he's not in the running. And then the guy said, hey, surely the name means more than the ranking. And then Lucas Brown didn't reply to that. I mean, you would think the name would be, mean more than the ranking. And to tell you the truth, David Hay is now rated by the WBA. So... I won't see why that would be a far-fetched uh, fight for next month. But I don't know if he wants to take a fight that quick, but shit, he should. I mean, he wasn't even really in a fight. I don't think he even got punched in his last fight, did he? I don't think he even got punched. I don't think Mark Demore even punched him. But uh, i like to see, you know, well, first we have to go over this uh, janky-ass tournament the WBA has going on. All right. And I know some of you say, hey, Mr. Boxing, it's a tournament. Isn't that what we want in boxing? Yeah, it's what we want when all the guys actually stay in the tournament and they don't run out of the tournament. I remember HBO did this shit in the 80s, and I remember Michael Spinks ran out of the tournament. He ended up having to, uh, to fight Tyson anyways. But anyway, so this WBA tournament. Now, they have Klitschko versus Fury in a rematch. The winner of that fights Luis Ortiz or Alexander Ustinov. All right, and that would be one side of the bracket. On the other side, Frez Akindo is getting a buy now kendo for some of you that don't know he fought ruslan chagayev a few years ago for the vacant wba regular world title but akendo was set to fight the winner out of chagayev and lucas brown the fight was set for next month march 5th ironically luis ortiz opponent alexander Demi uh, dimitrenko pulled out of their march 5th fight so some of you may say hey wh why not have lucas brown versus uh luis ortiz right you know I mean, he, Luis Ortiz doesn't have to fight Yusinov until um, before or on, was it June 19th, I believe, sometime in June. So we just can't automatically put him in there, you know, because, you know, Yusinov is still, you know, set to fight him. Some people are saying Yusinov won't, won't take the fight with Ortiz, you know, but uh, Lucas Brown... I mean, I don't want it to be a bullshit fill-in opponent. I mean, I think David Hay would be right on time. Now, Ruzan Chagayev was the, quote, <laughs> champion, the regular world title. Now, if you're confused about these world titles, the interim champion is Luis Ortiz, and he's the number one contender. And the uh, WBA world champion is Ruzan Chagayev. And then the uh, WBA, WBO unified champion is Tyson Fury. All right, so... It's just the glorified number one contender pretty much is what uh, the winner of, out of Chigayev and Lucas Brown would have been. And Luis Ortiz, the interim champion, is the glorified number two contender. That's the way I see it. You know, but who is Lucas Brown going to fight if Chigayev is pulled out of this fight and, you know, uh, they confirm it? You know, I don't want to go too far with this because we have to wait to see what's going on with Chigayev. But if he is out of the tournament, who do you guys want to see? And I'm going to go down the rankings, okay? So, like I said, Chagayev was the world champion, all right? Uh, Luis Ortiz is the ranked number one opponent in term champion. Lucas Brown's number two. Uh, number three, Klitschko. Number four, Shannon Briggs. How about Shannon Briggs? Let's throw Shannon, you know, let's go, champ. Now, Shannon Briggs, you know, when Klitschko had the title, he was everywhere. Let's go, champ. And it was pretty pretty entertaining. But at the same time, he was, every he was louder than a fucking construction site. You couldn't shut Shannon Briggs up. But now that, you know, Luis Ortiz needs an opponent next month. I haven't heard Shannon Briggs say anything. I remember when uh, Deontay Wilder was looking for an opponent before he got Spilka. You know, uh, Briggs claimed that, you know, they didn't offer him enough money. You know, it's just, it's funny now. From a guy that really wanted a title shot, let's go champ, chasing Klitschko everywhere. And now there's some opportunities and I haven't heard him at all. You know, but... uh. Briggs at number four. Number five, Houston off. Six, Akendo. Seven, Andre uh, Fedosov. That'd be, I've seen Fedosov fight against um, Bryant Jennings on an NBC Sports. That was a good fight. Uh, got stopped, but he was giving Jennings some good rounds. You know, and that, that was a good fight. He has a come four style, high guard, 
tough guy with a good chin. He won the Boxino tournament. I seen him uh, fight uh, Donovan Dennis on ESPN also. I mean, that'd be a good fight if they can get him in there. Um, you keep going down. Let's see. So seven is Fedosov. Eight, Antonio Tarver. Nine, David Hay. Ten, Erkin Tepper. He's out. Um, Eleven, Joseph Parker. Twelve, Anthony Joshua. Thirteen, Brian Jennings. Fourteen, Kirbat Pulov. Fifteen, Jarrell Miller. Hey, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. That'd be a good fight if Miller wanted to fight uh, Brown. Now, Miller just had an impressive performance against... Uh, the same guy Fedosov uh, fought uh, Donovan Dennis. He looked very impressive on Showtime. Jarrell Big Baby Miller did. So, you know, just get somebody in there. Somebody that's in the WBA top 15. And I'm just naming off guys that's rated in the WBA because this is their tournament. So you would think that they will put somebody that's at least in their top 15 to, um, you know, participate in this tournament. And you would think the next higher rated, highest rated guy would be Andre Fedosov. Or no, I'm lying. Shannon Briggs, because he's number four. Throw Shannon Briggs ass in there. Let's see if he if he really wants that work. Or he just, you know, just wanted just wanted to fight with Vladimir Klitschko. But again, this isn't a hundred percent confirmed. I'm just getting the news out there. It was brought to my attention and Lucas Brown on his own official Twitter account said that uh Chigaya pulled out. YTBC, I'm out.